we are going to become civil engineers today. But before we do that, I want to introduce us to some words. Do you remember when we did our rock unit? Yeah. Do you remember how we read a little bit more about the different types of rocks and I had you fill out a Freyer model? Yeah. Well, you are going to be filling out a Freyer model today. So let me show you the Freyer model that we're going to use. So the Freyer model at our stations will look like this. What I'm going to ask you to do is write the word up here. So for example, one of the words is civil engineer. And then I want you to give me an example. You're going to watch what I call is a show me. The show me is me teaching you about these words. That way, we have a bunch of different people hearing different things at the same time. While you are listening to that show me, you're going to be looking at and investigating two vocabulary words. You're going to fill out a Freyer model for each of these words that are at your station. What's cool about the show me, you can pause it and then go back and rewind. That way, if you miss a part, you can come back to it. So you watch the whole video. OK, so which, which word are you going to start with? Arch bridge or the abutment? Arch, arch bridge. OK. Do you need a piece of paper? There you go. The, the legs or the, the piers, yeah. right? Yeah, definitely. Good job. All right, friends. So each one of you has become an expert in some sort of bridge as far as its attributes, what it is, and even a specific example. So what I'm going to have us do is you're going to go back in your engineering groups and you're going to share the definitions with each other. A span is the length the length a bridge can go without anything holding it up in the middle. That's a span. And this is the picture I drew. That's cool. All right, let's listen up. We have these resources. If you did not finish them, that's okay because they're your books. You made your own books to go back to. We're now going to take some time and read about Javier. Javier is a young man who came across a problem and he walked over a bridge. So we're going to be looking at this and I want us to close read. I want us to close read about what Javier's problem is. I want you to close read about what a civil engineer is. And I want you to close read about the des engineer design process. It's wooden wobbled. wobbled and rocked side to side. Under my feet, I jumped off the bridge and... His sister fell into the river. So what do you think Javier is going to do now? That could be a good prediction. All right, let's find out. We keep reading chapter two. Questions about how to solve the problem. It's the first, it's the first step of the engineering design process. We shattered, shattered with, in, with the new ideas and drew a plan. I have a question for you. Let's just leave the books where they're at right now. How did Javier and his family imagine the bridges? What did they do? They drew out different kinds of bridges. They drew out different kinds of bridges. Do you think each one of you could think about a bridge that you went over and you're, either you walked or you drove over? Yep. Grace, did you think of any bridges? Yeah. Yeah? What's a bridge that you thought of in your head? Um, it's a bridge that I go over when I go to my Grammy's house because she lives in Maine. Very cool. Did you think of any bridges in your head, Matthew? The Boston Bridge. Oh, the Zakem Bridge. Yes, that's a very big bridge. All right. Eyes on me, please. What is Javier's problem? He didn't build the bridge down. The, br the bridge broke down. You're exactly right. So, did he go to someone? Who did he go to? Jada? His mom. Well, he talked to his mom about it, who then went, told him to go someplace else, right? Bo? Yeah. To Joe. What does Joe do? Riley. He's a silver engineer. 
Joe is a civil engineer. What do civil engineers do? Kaylee? They design bridges. And? Roads. Roads. And roads. Good job. All right. So he went to Joe, the civil engineer. He talked to Joe. Then what happened? They asked Joe if, if you could help us make a new bridge. They did. Did they ask him questions about bridges? Yes. They did. So that's a really important thing that they did, right? To ask questions. You're exactly right. Please ask the engineering design process. Exactly. That is the first step. So they asked questions. Did they imagine? How do we know they imagine? What did Javier and his family do to imagine? Amber. They drew pictures on papers of different bridge, bridges that they could make easily. Yep, they drew pictures on paper that they, that they knew easily, that they already knew about. Perfect. Did they make a plan? Yes. How did they make a plan? Angela. They drew pictures of what it should look like. So they imagined, right? They drew pictures. What did they do with each of those pictures? Matthew. They put them all together. They took the best parts of each of those pictures to put them together, right? Yep. Did they then create their plan? Yes. Did it work? Yes. No. At first, did it work? No. No. So did they find ways to make it better? Yes. All right. They improved. They did. They improved it. Today we talked about bridges, right? Tell me one kind of bridge for me, please. Um, Riley. Suspension bridge. We have a suspension bridge. Give me another one, please. Molly. Beam. A beam bridge. And there's one more. John. Arch bridge. An arch bridge. All right, you've done a very, very nice job, civil engineers. Tomorrow, we're going to start an activity and work a little bit more on this, okay? I'm Steve LaBelle. I'm a second grade teacher in Derry, New Hampshire. I'm at the Ernest P. Barca Elementary School. In lesson one, it's all about reading the text and students understanding the problem. But there's some vocabulary, and, and to be quite honest, the right, looking up the word in the definition just seems not, uh, not hands-on enough for me in my room. So I learned about this iPad app called Show Me. And what you can do is you go online, you actually teach the lesson um, on there, and then it records it almost like a YouTube video for students to come back to it. In lesson one, I want students to be able to read the book independently, and I didn't want to do it as a read aloud with the students. So I wanted to bring it down to their level so they can understand the books and have ownership as to the literature and the meaning to it.